Hello, and may I present to you a no-nonsense sales pitch video for this Vauxhall Corsa. Nice, isn't it? It is in Metro Blue, 100,000 miles, three-cylinder engine, two cylinders currently working. Underneath the bonnets, we do find an engine, a Diddy engine, a one-litre three-cylinder engine. And just like the hooker's play hole, someone shagged this. The engine starts. You can drive the car, but for how long, I really don't know, because it runs intermittently on two or three cylinders. It can't make its mind up, but who cares? The top end needs taking off and replacing with a top end that isn't ruined. As you can see from this video, the condition is actually reasonable. It has a boot with um, no rubbish left inside. Always very handy, that one. The car is fitted with alloy wheels. It has four. That's the correct amount. Not only that, all of the tyres are actually very good. As you can hear, the engine doesn't sound great. The interior is okay. I have given it a quick vacuuming out, so it's not full of horrible snotty things. But it, it needs a proper valet, really. Plus, is a rip in the carpet. But at least you can climb in it and won't find any used condoms or bags full of dog poo. Not that there was any of that stuff in there to start with, but I have experienced that kind of thing, and it isn't very pleasant. I need to make this absolutely crystal clear. This car is being sold as spares or despair. I mean, repair. There's absolutely no guessing around that. You cannot buy it expecting it to be you know, a perfectly usable car. Although it does start and it does drive, it is sold spares or repair. Spares or repair. Let me repeat that again. Spares or repair. Yep. I'd like to tell you about a few rough bits on this car, like this edge on that bonnet. That's rust, that is. There are plenty of small marks along the side of it. I'm not about to count every single scratch, that would be really stupid. But put it this way, expect a few. And, you know, it's old enough to deserve a few, isn't it? It's just a Vauxhall Corsa. It's never been anybody's absolute pride and joy. Well, it might have been at some point, but certainly not for a while. On the plus side as well, this car does have MOT. In fact, about five months worth, which is quite useful. And then, I don't really know what it drives like properly because I've only driven up and down the yard, but I would imagine it's all perfectly okay. On this rough surface, didn't hear any rattles or bumps or anything like that over the top of the engine. What about the price then? I'm going to say £500. £500 and this car can be yours to fix or take apart for spares. £500 quite a good price. It may need the cylinder head doing. About £50 to pick the cylinder head up. If you know what you're doing, you can make some decent money on this car. So if you're watching this video as the link from the Facebook Marketplace thing, consider this. If you're going to uh, chuck a low offer in at me, I might read that offer, but I probably won't even bother to reply to it. Any of those people that just messaged me with a random number flung in there, well, I won't really tolerate that. That's unnecessary. Ask a question. If you want to ask whether I would accept a particular price, just ask it. Don't just fling a number at me, because I'll just fling another one back and it'll be just as meaningless. If you want to be polite about it and ask about, you know, will I accept this kind of thing, then you know, I'll certainly consider it, depending on what it is. But bear in mind that I could swap these wheels for a set of steel wheels, and I could probably get £100 for those wheels because I've got good tyres on them all round. So. And now, back to my subscribers, back to Rovers and cars I like. And to the people that may have just stumbled across this video because it includes a Vauxhall Corsa, the video is ended. You can go back to your Xbox now. <laughs>